Hi, welcome back to the Arcade Repair Tips video series. Today we're going to talk about how to install a push button on an arcade game. As you can see, we have here one of our customers, a Miss Pac-Man Gallagher reunion game. Well, their motherboard went out and they wanted to replace it with a 60-in-1. Well, the 60-in-1 has some games that uses an extra button that's currently not on its control panel. So what we're going to do is show you how to drill it out and install one from scratch. The first thing we're going to talk about is the types of tools that we need to do this project. You just need a couple and the main one is a 1 and 1 8 hole saw bit that you can find at most any hardware store. The one that we chose was uh, the Makita brand because it's not only a metal but it's also a wood and it can do both and as we talked about before some control panels are made of wood, some are made of metal. This really uh, is a very useful one and we've had it for two or three years at least and uh, as you can see most of the blue paint has worn off of it but it still cuts really good and for us to say we've used it for a few years with all the holes that we've drilled over the last couple of years this is a very good tool. Um, we, I think these are about 10 bucks on Amazon and then you'll need this little auger or this thing that goes with it that attaches to it and uh, so that we can put it into our drill. But so we need this, you're going to need a drill, you also need to do some measuring, you know don't just eyeball it, go ahead and get your tape measure out and a pen or, or something to mark it with. So the first thing we're going to do is measure. Now I've taken the liberty of making a couple marks here. First thing I did was I marked the center, or what looked like the center to me, of a button that's already there. So that we could measure across from it. Also, we noticed that the control panel is seven inches, and right in the center of that button is three and a half inches. So over here, I went over three and a half inches. I also tried to space in between, and that's kind of to your own taste. Uh, but you know, you need at least probably a, a pinky's width, I would say, in between them. Maybe you know, you maybe a finger's width. That'll help you some, just because you don't want your buttons right on top of one another. Anyway, now that we've uh, measured and made a mark, that mark right there is for the drill bit. As you can see, is you first it drills a hole right here. Then as it goes through that hole, so that bit will line up right with that hole on that mark. And then the round part of it here will cut into the control panel. You might notice that for today we're using a corded drill. A lot of times we use, a, a, most of the times we don't use a corded drill, but you're going to need the extra power and everything that this provides. So now all we're going to do is line up on our, on our dot. First thing we're going to do is drill right through here with our metal bit. Make sure your drill's going in the right direction and you're on the spot. Be very careful because this will be extremely hot right now. So be careful just touching the end or this metal piece that's currently in there. Even if it's wood, this will be really hot. Let's let it cool down. Now you might have noticed when the control panel first hit and started to dig in, it kind of jerked. I was prepared for that. I knew it was coming and I really was holding on tight. Also, Jonathan was kind of helping hold the control panel. So you might use a buddy system or something there. Be careful because it does, it, that first cut, it does kind of try to jerk on you a little bit. Now that it's cooled off a little, you notice that there's slits right here on the side. That's a good place for a screwdriver or something and you can try to pop out that uh, metal filling that came out of there. Be careful, like I said, this is still, even after a couple minutes, pretty hot. Another safety deal is also remember that there are a lot of little metal burrs and shavings and stuff. You might want to wear some safety glasses when you do this. 
Okay, now we're going to install just a regular push button. This one's green to kind of go along with this red. Just a couple parts to it. You have the switch, which you're going to need to take out until the end. And then we're going to need to put this washer on the back. Uh, well, a nut, actually. And then we'll need this push button wrench, which should be part of your arcade toolbox that we talked about before. So all we're going to do is put this in here. Flip the control panel over and screw down this button. Now, another thing, just a real quick tip here, is notice the position of this, how you want that button or the wires to come through. You don't want to get this, turn it in such a way that it's hitting a bunch of other stuff like that would be. What I want to do is either go the same way that it is, which I kind of like stuff to be uniform and to be all the same way or at least out of the way at, at an angle or something but I'll keep it the same way that that red one is so I'm gonna get this as tight as I can by hand and then I'm gonna take my button wrench it's got two different sizes one's a little bit bigger than the other get the right size and tighten it like that and that's as tight that's as much as you need now we're going to need to add the cherry switch or the red part or whatever color your switch part is needs to go down and they just pop in there you pop I like to do that in in first I kind of push that out with my thumb and it pops right in now flip it back over and as you can see have a good button ready to play. Well, now you can see it back on the game. It looks really good on here. And now we have an extra button that we can use on our 60 and 1 games. Uh, we hope that you've enjoyed this video and that it's been some help to you. If you have any questions or comments, please email or, or call us or write us or contact us. Thanks again for watching the Arcade Repair Tips video series now in high depth.